This is Sarah Holmes, host of the Herbal Highway on KPFA, Tuesdays from 1 to 2 p.m. with your Herb of the Month. I'm Sarah Holmes with the Herbal Highway. Today, for February, I chose astragalus. And the reason I chose astragalus is this plant is such a good, deep immune builder, and it's safe for virtually everyone can take this plant. You can give this to small children. You can give this to people in frail health. You can give this to elders. And um, it has a flavor that most people really enjoy. So I know some herbs, the flavor can be challenging for people. Astragalus, so I'll say this at the outset, the only people to be careful about with astragalus, because it does increase white blood cells, is that for certain certain types of leukemia and any other disease that causes a proliferation or too many white blood cells, then please do not take astragalus. That's not too, too many people. So most of you listening can take this amazing plant. So I have the tincture here and you'll notice I shook it. Always shake your tincture before you take it. Because there's always hopefully some sediment that you have some like plant matter in the bottom. And it's also alcohol and water. So you want to mix them up. But I brought this out. So maybe you could see the color a little bit, right? It's a light yellow color. It has a kind of woody, slightly sweet taste. So I like to put astragalus into food. Um, you can cook this into stews, beans, um, kanji, anything that you cook for a long time. Some astragalus in there is not going to turn even your fussy eaters off from the food you're making. So it's a nice food to do that. The roots are woody and they don't break down. So you want to put them in like a tea ball or a little tea bag, something like that. So you can easily pull them out of the food later. But this is a plant I think about when we're still in winter time and we want to keep our immune system hardy and we want to keep that deep immunity built up. And that's what astragalus really gives us. It's very nourishing. It also helps recover from long-term illness, um, especially those of you who might be living with long-term COVID right now, you might think about astragalus root. Anyone who lives with chronic illness, astragalus root can also be a nice added support. So go ahead and take this plant for a solid month if you want. You could take it daily for a month and then just take a few days off and then you could resume taking it again. It just helps your body kind of recalibrate. And it also, I find that it helps you to have that trust in your body and your body's ability to heal and do what it needs to do without a plant even. Right. So when we take those breaks, it gives us that opportunity to um, check back in and it gives our bodies the chance to take the training wheels off and see, oh, can I still do this without the plant? Um, so it's a tonic plant. Absolutely take it. Um, a good strong tea. Um, so that means you're simmering it. So technically, those of you that know more about plants, it's a decoction. You're going to simmer it covered on the stove for about, you can even do this plant for several hours or in your food for several hours. Um, a minimum, I would simmer it covered for one hour and then let it steep for another four to eight hours and then strain it out and drink it. Um, you can drink four to six ounces once or twice a day as a good amount. Or if you're taking your tincture, if you prefer the bottle method, um, a good 10 to 12 drops once or twice a day is a good dose for you to start with and give it a try. Tune into the Herbal Highway on KPFA at 94.1 FM, Tuesdays from 1 to 2 p.m. So if you'd like to listen to more of the Herbal Highway, you can find archives at kpfa.org and on some of your favorite streaming podcast platforms. If you'd like to follow us on social media, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at the Herbal Highway. If you'd like to follow me, Sarah Holmes, one of the hosts of the Herbal Highway, you can follow me at Blue Otter School. Renee Camila can be found at 
La Yerba Buena Herbs, and Emiliano Lemos can be found at, at Trans Herbalist. And check out KPFA, our home since 1997, on Facebook at KPFA 94.1, or Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok at KPFA Radio. We hope to see you soon.